So, uh, first loss as a North Melbourne coach. Um, you probably can still take a few positives out of that game, though. Yeah, for, for certain. You know, we, um, we got ourselves back into a contest that we, we looked right out of in the, in the first half. You know, they played some good footy and um, we, we probably fueled their, fueled their game a little bit in the, um, in the first half. Just our, our ball use wasn't as good as what we'd like it to be. And that, um, you know, their, their strength of their side is in their, is in their back end. They've got um, consolidated back six that have, have played some good footy together for a long period of time. And, um, and we were just a bit haphazard with the way that we went inside 50. Um, in, that, in the first part of the game, that just gave... Uh, gave those guys um, just plenty of uh, plenty of uncontested possession. So um, you know, we're really pleased that at, at half time we were able to address a couple of things and uh, give ourselves a chance to get back into the game. Now um, we didn't quite get there, but it was pleasing that we made a game of it when at half time it looked like it was uh, it was going to be Hawthorne how far. The pressure in the third quarter was a lot better than that. Really, I guess drove drove you guys to get back into the game. Which, uh, uh, what was that missing in the first half? Uh, yeah, well, um, yeah, we to their to the credit, they were really strong around the ball, and um, and we went quite at our best in that in that space. You know, we lost lost LDU, our, um, um, which is a pretty pivotal inside player for us. We we lost him right at the right at the death knock just before the game. So, um, you know, you you that's that's going to happen in games of footy though, where where guys are injured. You know, our, our, our captain missed this week. Uh, through suspension, so um, you know, two two pretty two pretty good players that we need out on the park just for their leadership and their guidance and obviously their talent. So, but that that happens to replace them, and um, we just didn't cover them as well as, as perhaps we we would have liked. Uh, but uh, other guys get opportunities in that space, and then in the third quarter we give ourselves a chance to win the game. We get halfway through the the last quarter, I think we're within a goal. I think there's four points. Um, the difference at that point in time, we had a. Yeah, you know, really attacking forward 50 entry entrance that um, if we'd have uh, if we'd have nailed the shot might have put us in front. Didn't quite get there. Um, that's the that's the game though. At the end of the day, um, the best side on the day won the won the game. And w but we're really pleased that we gave ourselves a chance. Just LDU, sorry, just a condition update on L on him is is he? Oh, he was he was uh, he just got a corky in his calf from last week's game that um, you know in most instances they settle and um, he. He trained on Thursday, and um, but just when he was warming up today, it just didn't feel just didn't feel right. And um, he's an important player for us, and we just don't want to take a risk with him. You know, we ummed and ahed about uh, whether he'd hobble around and 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 try and do what he needs to do, sort of uh, not quite at his best physically. And it's just like, what's what's the point? We're we're in this for the long game, not the short game. Um, and it's it's tough when you've been best on ground in the first two weeks of the season and right on the right on the death knock, you give me consideration to whether he plays the game or not. It's just like it, it ended up being an easy call. It's just like let's not let's not worry about it and see if we can get him up for next week. Is the team just in a position obviously at the moment where you take Joy and, and LDU out of, out of the team, you just don't quite have that experience and, and know how to, to plug such such big holes at the moment. That's a, a learning curve. Yeah, yeah, and, and big Benny McKay's out of our back end too that uh, hopefully he'll return in a in a, in a week or two, and um, you know they're they're three guys who are um, in the sort of mid career, 24, 26 years of age. That uh, that bracket of guys that we need to take us forward, and um, and they're all missing today. So, um, but it gives it gives other guys an opportunity, and that's that's the thing. We're we're playing the long game. So yeah, it didn't didn't work for us today, but um, you know Darcy Tucky got an opportunity to come into the game, kicks a goal, does a couple of good things for us, and. Um, he's he's had an interrupted campaign since he came from Freo because he had that knee injury. But um, yeah, we we're, we're pleased that the Will Phillipses and the Tom Powers, the Charlie Combins, um, you know, the Josh Goders, uh, Miller Bergmans. These these are just uh, these are just pups in the overall scheme of things in terms of where we're going. But they're all really really talented players. Paulie Curtis, um, and they're doing some good things, but they're finding it difficult at the present time to do it. Um, consistently across the four quarters, that's that's the case with all young players, and um, because we're so prepared as a footy club to play the long game, we just giving them exposure to the level is just even if you lose, it's still enormous learning for those lads. What was the the week like for for yourself? Is it one where you're just happy that's out of the way now in terms of the, the build up and the hype surrounding it? Or I did, only because it's a, it's a, it's something that's driven by the 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 
um, environment outside your footy club. In our footy club, we didn't mention it. It's just like we got a game of footy against an opponent, um, and um, you know, it's a spectacular thing for everyone outside the club. But for us, it was we, we, um, outside of just saying that we're playing Hawthorne this week. It's no different to what we're going to say this week. We're playing Carlton, and. Um, yeah, so we just kept things as normal as we possibly could, know for well that um, we just got a process that we've got to concentrate on in terms of trying to get um, get better as a footy club and we know we've got a long way to go. Um, and part of that is just giving um, giving all our players the exposure to just play our game plan the way we want to play it. Um, and whether we win or lose, just getting better at that over, over time. And um, that's not going to happen overnight, but um, it will happen if we just um, stay the course and, and continue to have faith that we're on the right track. And um, you, know, you obviously coached a lot of games down here um, with the Hawks. Did you have, um, yeah, did you try and use that experience to bring some certain tactics into today's game? No, well, there's, usually there's a bit of breeze at this ground and, um, and there, there might be some tactics attached to, attached to that when there's a bit of wind, but it was perfect conditions, you know, the, uh, the ground staff at this, this ground do a, do a fabulous job. It gets a, it gets a lot of traffic with the women's and men's games and, and North Lonnie play their footy year too and they train here and they have cricket and all sorts of things in the summer and they just put on such a spectacle for, uh, for the, the people in Northern Tassie. And, um, and Blundstone Arena do exactly the same. You know, their surface down there, um, when we play our home games down at Blundstone, um, we, we couldn't be more pleased with, with playing games here in, in Tasmania. And I think the I think the Hawks Club would be the be the same. They've been coming down here for 20 years and enjoying this fantastic surface and environment. So, um, you know, we've got a really, uh, really strong uh, base of people down here for both clubs who, who support the clubs. They love their footy down in this state. And hopefully somewhere down the track, as we've sp spoken about many times before, um, somewhere down the track, Tassie will get their own own side, and hopefully that's sooner rather than later. And um, and all the supporters in this state can actually support the uh, support the one team rather than the two. Um, yeah, with, um, the young fella coming back with uh, from glandular fever um, for all last year um, you know, had a pretty had a pretty good game, I thought as well. Um, that's a, that's a good thing to come out of today, obviously. Yeah, well, he he, he got some uh, further exposure in the middle of the ground because. Um, his elder year was unable to play, so um, yeah, Will did, Will did some good things. You know, he, he, he just needs to be exposed at the level to really, really good players. And um, you know, as you indicated, you know, he's missed a, missed a lot of footy the last last 12 months. And even in his first year, he, a lot of that first year that he played, um, he played as the as the sub. So um, he hasn't played an enormous amount of footy, but he's a he's a terrific young man, and, um, and we, we're going to give him every chance to be the very, very best player he can be. What was the, I guess, the reaction after the game with the Hawks players that came over and, um, you know, have a bit of say hi with a few of the players as you, as you went on? No, well, I think I think given that the the Hawks is that's, that's their first win, they're probably gathered to, gathered together. They're more interested in giving themselves and a pat a pat on the back, and, and rightly so too. You know, they they won the game. They played some good footy. Um, I, uh, I caught up with Lukey Bruce to spend a lot of time with him over a long part of his career, and and him. Obviously, influencing mine, so um, I caught up with him because it was at that end of the ground where our change rooms were. But um, yeah, it's just uh, let the Hawks celebrate their their victory because it was deserved, and um, not uh, not too many are interested in the losers, which we are today. Did you, did you think they would change their game plan as much as they did today with their uncontested possessions and maybe not going down the, the corridor quite as much? They seem to sink a few things. Yeah, maybe, um, but that's a conversation you have with. With the Hawthorn, Hawthorn coach rather than me. Yep. Good on you guys. Thank Thanks you. Guys. Cheers. Cheers.